3 works for business. What's involved in setting up a new school, particularly if it's an Educate Together school? Many of them have emerged in the country in recent times. There's a new television documentary uh, going to be on RT television tomorrow night and next week as well, a different class. Let's hear a little bit from one of the episodes. Financially, my family and I are in kind of a difficult place right now in that we rent. I have two young girls, one five, one one and a half. And our landlord basically told us about three weeks ago that you're selling the house. We can't actually afford to rent a house. At the age of 35, it's not easy to ring your parents-in-law and say, listen, can we come live with you, you know? One of the challenges facing a brand new school is the sheer volume of bureaucratic and financial systems that need to be put in place. The teachers, who have now been working for over a month and a half, are still not on a payroll. I'd actually go and organise. I just need people to tell me. Yeah, when is that going to be given to us? I can organise that you have it by Friday. Yeah, well, I'm at the wedding Friday, so I, I, I need... OK, no, I, I can, as soon I can as give possible. you one this evening. Is that OK, Shania? OK? Yeah, I'd just say it having to ask for money when it should be, like, should be yeah. done. Like, I, mm. I, I always say to ask for money. Mm. But it's, it's more annoying when it's due and it's not given. I find it really yeah. frustrating, but I know it's. I'm just, I'm just saying quiet because I'm mad. Like, but it's, it's like it's. Uh, there's no point in venting anger here because it's due at nobody. But it's just so frustrating. I'm so mad. Like mm. asking for money that you've worked for hard. Like, we've worked hard for that. That's just a little bit of a different class. Dan O'Grady, you were the first voice that we heard there. That's very honest of you to do speak about issues like that in front of the television cameras. I was, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the TV crew said that after a while you'd feel more comfortable with us and you'd open up with us and I guess that's what you just heard there. You didn't even know they were there almost? <laughs> well, you knew they were there but they disappeared into the background. We probably trusted them too much or something like that. I suppose it's something you just come to take for granted that if you're on the payroll as a teacher that you get paid at a set time every month it is but I guess you know setting up a new school you, you're dealing with getting on the payroll first of all and all the issues that, that are entailed in that uh, and then one of the issues with new teachers which maybe people kind of take for granted is new teachers nowadays it's usually quite a long time before you have a permanent job so you're transferring schools a lot we had a lot of teachers last year and this year would work in two schools so you might do a morning here and afternoon there I think they probably put that in the documentary because it wasn't something they were expecting to see Tell us about the school where you are teaching and which features in this documentary. So I'm teaching in Hansfield uh, Educate Together Secondary School with Kira here, who's a student, and Bridie, her mum, who's uh, involved in the school. It's one of the first Educate Together second level schools uh, set up in Ongar in Dublin 15. Uh, we're in the second year open now, uh, so we just have first and second year and we're going to grow steadily year by year. And it's a fantastic school. Are all the buildings in place to allow for the growth the of the school? Buildings are not in place. That was a big hiccup last year in that it just took time. So we have a lovely building that's nearly finished. Uh, but at the moment, we're guests in a primary school across the way and we're occupying the top floor and half of the second floor, which can be difficult. They're very nice and they've been very good to us. Uh, and we've had to ask a lot of our students uh, in terms of being patient while things like lunch halls, PE halls, uh, you know, kind of thoughts for the future, really. Tell us, uh, what makes it a second, an educate to get a secondary school different? Well, there are a number of things, you know, you know, firstly, a lot of what we do is the same as every other school. You know, we're not completely different. Uh, what, where we try to be different is, you know, the first way is we try to involve everybody a lot more. So we really seek out parental involvement in the school. We look for the children to be involved in the entire life of the school and not just in the classroom. Uh, probably if you walked into the school, what you'd notice most is a lack of uniform and everybody's on first name terms. That's probably the thing that... That's okay, exciting. well, Kira Conway, you tell us about that. What year are you in the school? Second year. Okay, and you're not just a student, you're a class rep as well. So what's involved in that? Well, um, you know, you really have to listen to your peers and if they have any sort of problem that they're not comfortable with bringing up to the teachers, you really have to be able to say, well this is my place and this is how I have to help them. Um, it's very hard for people that you aren't very close friends with to come up and tell you. That's why it's good to have multiple people. But um, a lot of my friends had problem with the dress code and that came up a lot in the programme. 
and um, it was one of our bigger problems last year. Why? What sort of problems with the dress code? Just disagreements between teachers and students and, you know, boundaries that you can cross and stuff. Um, you know, students would be more into flashing skin <laughs> and teachers wouldn't be so interested in looking at that. But, um, yeah. And how was that issue resolved? Um, well, last year it wasn't exactly re- resolved. It's just this year people have kind of said, well, it doesn't look like it's going to change, so we kind of have to get on with it. Okay, so this is democracy in action, is it? But uh, would there perhaps be people who suggest you need a little bit more order than that? That maybe somebody needs to be imposing some rules, or is imposition something that nobody goes for? Well, there is um, agreements like we brought in leggings and jeggings and stuff. It's just length of tops is a big thing, and then also a lot of our students want uniforms. Um, I know definitely the girls would prefer uniform just because it's easier. You don't have to pick out clothes and. Just in general, to have a uniform sounds easier. And will you get a uniform? Um, Well, we were talking about it, and we've gone to a school, school breed, and we saw their uniforms, and we thought they were lovely. And we're talking about it, and we're discussing it. More than likely, no, but it's possible. Why more than likely, no? Because, in my opinion, and a lot of people in our school feel it goes against the ethos of education together. Okay, I want to bring your mother in. Kira, uh, Kira's mother, Bridie, is with us. Hello to you. Hi, how are you? Why did you pick an Educate Together school for secondary school? Um, I have older children who obviously are in secondary schools. Um, and I transferred Kira into an Educate Together primary school when she was only in sixth class. Purely because of Kira's spirit. She's a real free flyer and she likes to express her opinion. And I felt another school, because of their ethos, would stop that and close her in so educate together purely because their diversity and their multicultural you know ethos it I liked I just liked it I liked the way the children are allowed to be part of it like there's a student on the board of management and educate together which you won't see in any other you know a second a second year student well I'm not sure which student it is but they do have a student on the yeah, have two second year students it'll change yeah. this year and we'll get two different students but that you wouldn't see that on any other school the children are not involved now obviously there are certain issues they can't be involved in but they are involved to a certain degree the students the first name terms I think is brilliant because it makes it more of a team rather than authority versus you know a control thing there's a better relationship Kira has an amazing relationship with her teachers she gets on really well with all of them talks very comfortably if there is issues, she has no problem going to talk to them. I know that happens in a lot of secondary schools, but the ethos of Educate Together allows that to but, happen. But is that because Kira is clearly a very confident person that perhaps lots of other school children might not be like? I think the ethos covers that, though. I think the fact that they are multicultural. I mean, <clears throat> when you walk into Educate Together's uh, school yard, there is no cliques. I don't know how to say it. Um, there's no, like, every culture mixed with each other. Kira has a huge amount of friends from loads of different backgrounds, mm-hmm. loads of different nationalities, and there's no issues because of the diversity of the whole Educate Together ethos. And as a teacher, Dan, to finish out, I mean, what do you feel that you get out of being in an Educate Together school? I, I, I think we, we get a really solid partnership in education. And I, I think... You know, that's what I really enjoy about the places. I get that with Kira, I get that with Bridie and, you know, the school stops becoming a place where you send your child to be educated and they stay there from nine till four and then they come back and you go in once a year for a school meeting. It's kind of, we're all on first name terms, we know each other quite well and we have multiple conversations over the year about each child and I think it's just a, a more humane system and a, a better way to work. To okay, I'm going to watch this with interest to see and I'm sure everyone who has children who are wondering about Educate Together as a way rather than the traditional system will be interested in this. A different classes on RT1 at a quarter past ten uh, tomorrow evening, Thursday and again the following week. Thank you to all of you for joining us. Kira Conway and Breed... Breed Bridey Conway, excuse me, and Dan O'Grady for joining us as well. We're back with Mary McKeown and Cal Thomas next. Today FM. Traffic.